A Million Dollar Mayor highlighted Thursday's action at the Keeneland November sale as book two got underway. Consigned by Lane's End is hip 514, the not-for-love mare Fools in Love was offered not pregnant on a cover to Spitestown. The half-sister to grade two winner International Star came with a great catalog update. Already the producer of graded Stakes Place and Stakes Place Foals, her scat daddy two-year-old Seahenge won a group two at Doncaster in September, before running third at Newmarket behind U.S. Navy Flag and Mendelssohn in the group one Darley Dewhurst Stakes. Chiefly Park Stud's Chris Richardson signed the ticket. She's, she's the mayor has proven uh, she's um, you know she's an outcross. She's uh, you know we came here to buy uh, some special pedigrees, some special mares, and um, you know she's a proven producer. Obviously, uh, uh, a good connection uh, to the UK, and um, um, obviously she'll be going home now. But uh, to whom she'll visit, I'm not quite sure. Listen, you know. As I say, Mr. and Mrs. Thompson are, are keen to support the market. They want a, a few new families, and, and she just suited the potentially suited the program. Second highest price of the day was the 800,000 spent by Shima Kobe Farm for Curlin Hawk, the dam of Grade Three winner Seab Hawk. Consigned by Taylor Made Sales Agency, she sold in full to Malibu Moon. Shima Kobe Farms Yukio Shima Kobe credited the wild popularity of racing in Japan with the increased presence of Japanese buyers at the sale. The racing in Japan is very, very popular, and uh, as you know, the prize money is very good. And so people are very interested in uh, you know, buying horses as a racehorse and go to the racetrack. Okay. Our breeding level of the bird mares and stallions are very you know, increasing, and people want more quality horses from all over the world. So, of course, here is the number one place. Mark Taylor said Curlin Hawk was the full package. The freshman sires have sizzle, uh, the young sires unproven have sizzle, but there's an extra value added when you have a young mare, good pedigree, she's already a graded stakes producer, and she's in full to a proven horse who's having a great year. So it's just kind of the whole package that if somebody went into the sale saying we want to get a really top mare, those are all the ingredients and she had them all. The top-priced weanling of the session was Hip 420, a pioneer of the Nile Colt, consigned by Bedouin Bloodstock and purchased by Chris Bakari for $550,000. Bakari, the session's leading buyer, with four purchased for a total of $1.3 million, has acquired eight weanlings over the past three days, and four of them are by Pioneer of the Nile. He said his latest purchase never missed a beat. As Taylor Made wrapped up session three as the leading consigner on the day and overall, Mark Taylor noted the strength of the weanling market. I think that the wheelings are very strong. Everybody that I've talked to that's following wheelings up here just said I can't get anything bought. You know, they're all running right past me. So the irony of it is, is that there's a lot of these mares that are going to start going through the next few days that are bringing, say, 50 to 100, and nobody is really like chomping at the bit wanting to buy them. It's like a lot of work to get somebody to buy these mares in that range. But the babies they're carrying, if they pop out a good baby that vets, you'll walk it up there next year and he'll be getting a hundred and a half like breaking sticks. There's always value in the market, you just gotta find it and be persistent and patient. Cumulative numbers for the sale are down, although the gross for Thursday's session did increase slightly. You can get those full numbers at bloodhorse.com. Our final video recap of the November sale comes to you tomorrow as book two concludes.